there is an incredible clip coming out from NFL Films of McDaniel watching mm. a replay up on the Jumbotron with a close-up on his face. I believe we have the video. Foxy, go ahead and run this thing from the truck. We can run videos this week. Oh, Whoa. hell yeah. That's a big deal. Huge upgrade. If you've been to SoFi, when they have a challenge, they'll put both coaches on the screen. So you see him and you see Brandon Staley. And Brandon Staley, you know, he's not looking at a camera or anything. He's just walking around. He's got his headset on, maybe, you know, arms folded. Well, Mike McDaniel sees it. He's looking at it. He sees himself up there. They're zoomed in on his face. And he, you see him glance up at the scoreboard and he sees it. Pulls his microphone from his headset down, right? And he goes, run the ball the next five plays. Run the ball the next five plays. And I'm like, this is hilarious. I mean, of course, they're chucking it all over the lot. Like, he yeah. just, he, it was just, oh, it was, it was beautiful. Move the sticks, obviously having a good time. Tom Pelissero, or nope, Daniel Jeremiah. He <laughs> is commentator for the Chargers, yep, so yep. he's in there every single week. The thing that I enjoy about that move is I used to play poker, okay? Yep. And I would actually just talk the entire time. Been kicked out of plenty of tables, been kicked out of plenty of rooms. And normally, I would just tell the truth about what I have. So I'd start early. Hey, listen, I got it. Like, this is just how it is. And then I'm showing cards, by the way, early, early, early. Then later in the game, you're in. Is this guy telling the truth about his card? Not. It's a tired guessing game. I like that McDaniel took the opportunity to just put a little thing into Brandon Staley's head. Are they going to run the ball? Does he know that he's talking to the entire stadium right now? Is he working it? And also what this video shows me is that Mike McDaniel is so self-aware understands everything going on and from a guy that was on our show talking as if he had just taken ayahuasca yes. he seems to be the perfect man to be a head coach in the nfl he does i wonder if it's something that ever came into his mind earlier in his coaching career like say he was an assistant and he saw them showing the coach based on the jumbo trying he's like man when i'm a head coach Work. i'm gonna mess with these guys i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna throw some stuff and see if they uh if they actually buy it so I, it's weird how he is kind of like he's everywhere he's in the moment he has awareness and dialed in, hey, I'm football all the time. What's on the field is what's happening. He noticed himself on the Jumbotron. I'm sure he's probably taking part. You know when they have like three shells that race on the Jumbotron? Two! Yeah, yeah. And, and the whole crowd, all the players in the sideline, we would always be in timeout and wonder, oh, no, two's got this one. I bet McDaniel's jumping in those too. So there's something at uh, Indianapolis Colts game. It's brought to you by Waste Management. Nice. And normally they find somebody who has never thrown a football before. Oh, yep. And they ask him to throw three footballs into a square that's like this big. The entire stadium is watching <laughs> mm -hmm. and every coach and coaching staff. I assume McDaniel's watching that first throw. No chance. No money's being made here. <laughs> yeah. We've heard him talk shit to Tua in his ear yep. in the middle of like mm -hmm. a third down play. What a perfect coach that got down there in Miami. I think my favorite thing about him is um, there was a part of me and I think part of some people that they thought the honey moon phase might wear off with him but it hasn't because he's always him and as long you guys have talked about it with coaches like as long as you're they're just always themselves and they're not trying to be someone they're not who he is never trying to be someone that he isn't we're always going to love him and he's starting to like quickly climb up the ranks of coaches for me yeah i enjoy him you know we always say Vrabel's teams are going to be good right mm -hmm. yeah. as you know, andy reed obviously going to be good Patriots always going to be in game. Amen. Shane Steichen's always going to have the boys ready. Sure. Gonna, that's what everybody yeah. says yeah. yeah. about NFL it's teams. A cliche. It's getting to the point where we need to just automatically put McDaniel's name in there. And it's interesting because you got Dan Campbell in there as well now. Yeah. And he's vastly different than McDaniel. Yeah. Both of them <laughs> unicorns and anomalies in the head coaching world. But I appreciate it. I like what this coaching ranks are becoming, especially if you think about what Dion's doing here, the way it's happening, mm -hmm. McDaniel, what he's doing, yep. MC. Do you see what he's doing? Football's evolving right in front of our eyes right now. Well, and you hit the nail on the head. I think the self-awareness is key because there was that point in time where everyone's like, oh, this guy's so zany. He's so wacky. He's funny. He's is he different. high? Exactly. Is he high? Oh, he's hitting, he's hitting a vape on the sideline. Right. And, like, you could lean into that big time and, and kind of change your personality and kind of be who you want the media, you know, is, is claiming you are. And he has just stayed the same person. And then even last year, they go through all that shit with Tua and all that stuff that could have just kind of crumbled and it could have been a, a really bad situation where it's like, hey, this guy's not cut out to do this. And to his credit, he's kind of just stayed in the pocket and remained true to who he is. And yep. and we'll see. The, the Dolphins could be a, a real force to be reckoned with. In year. the AFC East. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah, it's not great, especially when you think about what you and AJ always talk about. You know, are you winning because you're happy? Or are you happy because you're winning? It feels like they are just enjoying themselves. Like, they have a good time. Obviously, when you're putting up 450 in the air and scoring yeah. 37 points, 36 points, it's going to be a good time. But it feels like that chemistry inside the locker room. And, you know, the Wilkins-Holden kind of reflects that. Like, he wants to play with his guys even though he didn't get paid. Yeah, he didn't get paid. He says, all right, I gave it a shot. Yeah. 
Try to get paid. Here, I'll go suit up for the boys. They